Hey everyone, so before this video gets started, if you're an Uber driver or a Lyft driver or a gig worker and you wanna get guaranteed pay every single time you go out and drive, there's this new app called Solo and we'd use the link below to sign up. They're actually just gonna give you $10 simply for trying out the app totally for free anywhere in the country. It's free to sign up and you can get access to mileage tracking, expense tracking, help with your taxes. This awesome app, Solo, you can download it right now, get 10 bucks, and again, get access to guaranteed pay. Let's get started with the video. Okay, let's continue. So the next topic we are discussing is, this is how to get the biggest DoorDash orders. So if you're a DoorDash driver and you wanna get huge, huge orders, you make sure you wanna watch this part. Because um, driving for DoorDash, you don't want to do small orders. You want to deny anything under what, 10 bucks probably? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to watch this video real quick, learn some tips together. This video is going to be big because in this video, we're going to talk about how to get the absolute biggest orders on a DoorDash as a DoorDash Dasher. We're so this guy, he, his name's your driver, Mike. I believe he lives in San Diego and he does uh, DoorDash rides. Did you ask him to do an interview with us? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Did he just, was he not interested? I don't remember. So, um, this, so there's a few different, but he talks about high volume versus low volume strategies. Now this is what I call the volume strategy. When driving for DoorDash, in my opinion, there's two different strategies to make money. There's the volume strategy, which DoorDash seems to highlight here. That's really taking, again, it's volume. It's taking more and more orders. It's so really basically, you, you have two strategies with, with DoorDash, right? You take as many orders as you can and just try to get, you know, get the $2 orders, get $3 orders, just do a bunch, 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 or wait and wait until you get a, some huge orders and then just do those only. So what, what do you think you should do, Izzy? Um, I think you should just, just do it normally. <laughs> we get every single one? Like, I don't know. Well, yeah, because if, I mean, not every single one, but you don't want to wait for the big ones because what if, what if a big one doesn't come and then you're yeah. just, you just wasted time waiting. Yeah. Exactly. Really jamming as many orders as you can in a given hour. So this is the step so let's say one to get the big, orders. biggest orders. Step number one, experimentation. This doesn't matter if you're new or if you're a veteran driver. You need to always be experimenting to see how your specific marketplace performs. Now, moreover than that, you need to find what I'm calling really the cap for your marketplace. Now, the cap is the maximum pay for three specific app for your so if you know e if you know when you got you you know what this says you know what this is about this is peak times where it's the busier you get extra bonuses for doing deliveries during this yeah, very busy four dollar bonus oh so it's like a surge type thing yep so basically i mean if you can you know and some people what they do is they're signed up for multiple apps. They're signed up for Uber Eats and DoorDash. And what they do is they try to get orders from the same restaurant. And then they get the, you know, let's say you're getting an order from Chipotle or whatever. Common place where you order food, you know? You like eat Chipotle? Um, not really. You like Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Okay. Let's say you're a DoorDash driver and you're doing DoorDash and Uber Eats. And let's say you get one order on each app from Chick-fil-A. Maybe even you get um, three orders. Maybe you're doing uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Postmates. All Chick-fil-A orders. You get three at once. So you're already there at the restaurant. Just pick them all up and then go to, and you gotta do this around lunchtime when, when it's busy. And then go, you make sure you have them in the hot bag so it stays warm. 
and then just do drop off, drop off, drop off. Make try to make it so they all live by each other. <laughs> that might be it this. sounds like a lot of thing. Like I feel like that wouldn't end up working out. Well, I mean, it, it saves a lot of time because you don't have to drive around to each restaurant. You just, you know, like restaurants used to do back in the day, they would just deliver all the orders, right? From yeah. So they would go place, 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 place. So I feel like as long as you can do it and you're not like, the food's not cold, you would have to like really look at all the addresses first and kind of map it out where like the fastest way. Yeah. So you're not going. So then you could make like three times as much an hour. Yeah. And you could potentially be making 80 bucks an hour. <laughs> Do people do that? Do you need like three separate phones to use mm -mm. three different apps? It can be lo logged into all three at, on one phone. Oh. Like they're not going to know. How are they going to know? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you really got to make sure they're all the same restaurant or at least the same parking, like plaza. Because yeah. I mean, if you're okay. going to a restaurant, a restaurant, a restaurant, like the food's going to get cold. Yeah. It's going to take way too, too, too long. Okay. So yeah, that's just a little bit of conversation to get the biggest orders and a little hack as well. Um, so let's move on. <laughs>